Hi Virgo, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 7th of March 2022. Right, we're going to start immediately with Monday, the 7th of March. Six of Cups, Tuesday. The Hung Man, often seen. Hung Man. Anyway, Wednesday, Nine of Pentacles, your favorite, A. Eh? Page of Wands, Thursday. Five of Pentacles, Friday. Three of Wands, Saturday. And Knight of Wands, Sunday. The lovers, your influencing energy. Anyway, Six of Cups on Monday. With Two of Pentacles. The Hangman, Tuesday. With Strength. Nine of Pentacles with Justice, Wednesday. Page of Wands with Three of Swords, Thursday. Five of Pentacles with Six of Pentacles. Friday. Now three of wands with nine of swords Saturday and knight of wands Sunday with the world. The lovers and death together. Now I think I'm gonna um, go first with the worst case scenario okay just to get it out of my way and literal meaning death of somebody who's very dear to you like physical death or somebody is going away emigrates and you're not gonna see this person from now on perhaps for a long time goes out of your life somehow for some reason okay that kind of as i said worst case scenario for these two now look with death energy within you it could actually mean completely different things it could mean that you are very much devoted to this relationship to that another one okay whoever that is your business partner your love partner your spouse anybody person that you love somebody very dear to you you see that you are inseparable okay you are not existing without that person this partnership this love relationship is where you belong where you manifest that who you are just a part of that unity could be something like that that extreme devotion as well taking care of another one who you really love with the devotion not sparing yourself in that sense also twins are born okay in your family yours or somebody's your sisters your brothers okay could also mean something like that but very strong energy comes from last week for you virgo now look on monday it's not bad at all now you have a six of cups it is now again somebody who's dear to you a person that you know from some time ago your brother sister um best friend, school friend, um, your children as well. Childhood features strongly here. The childlike feelings about your future also goes with energy of six of cups. But by all means, very pleasant energy, very satisfying, very calm, very kind of happy, with lots of care, fine, candid words. You see what I'm saying? That kind of relationship with another. Everything kind of fine and nice on the surface, and nobody even want to get into depth of situation. If it's you, your childlike feelings about your future, it's the, the very same thing. You don't want to get into depth of the situation. You don't want to see what is lying underneath. No, it's enough that fine, polished situation that you can see. That is now on Monday for you. But look, you are juggling. You are a, 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 a bit nervous in here. Okay, with the two of pentacles it's not that you are stable you are trying to stabilize yourself because there is something that you don't like and there is something that you have to do you see what I'm saying you would rather not to but for the time being it's kind of you have to with two of pentacles it is something that you dislike the rather to make decision and not to do that to move one or another side but on monday it says you have to keep it around you you have to balance it keep yourself in check juggling nervous 
but you have to on this day do not make decision don't be rude don't say anything if it's the day to be just polite okay so be it if you, even if you feel a bit nervous and unhappy about the situation just keep yourself in check control it just control it and control it again on tuesday all right with strength even stronger energy look this one is a bit nervous but this is solid this is you or in control, okay? Now, you, it's, it's not that you are now trying to juggle and you're nervous. No, you are not anymore. You are if in full power. You are in control. You know what you do. You're not going to allow any doubt or a nerve to tremor or to bug you. You're not going to allow it. You know, you have to wait. With the hangman, there is the waiting period. You might feel a bit out of sorts, okay? A bit upside down on this day. Um, often, but particularly because of these two of pentacles, something happened earlier on. You feel yourself a little bit out of sort, okay? Things are upside down for you. You are not comfortable yourself. You were not comfortable on Monday, not even on Tuesday, but you do know that you have to, you, that you have to subdue your emotions, not to bring fear, not anxiety, not anger. You see what I'm saying? Anger particularly. It could mean that um, some sort of misunderstanding, something is upside down, something is wrongly understood. Maybe you said something, maybe you've done something with all best intentions and you were misunderstood. Could mean something like that. For some of you, Virgo could be that situation with all of it that is happening from earlier on, on Monday, Tuesday. Perhaps you do feel misunderstood, but as much as you try to defend yourself, to explain yourself, it seems to me it's like you are digging yourself deeper in this, you know, hole of misunderstandings. In that sense, it seems to me these two days, so you are needing to stay strong. Don't lose yourself. Don't don't get angry, don't shout. You just control the situation, you'll manage, okay? And you will definitely, because I like this Wednesday for you, this energy of achiever, you will achieve. I mean, you will be understood, you'll stand proud. Nine of Pentacles is you, Virgo, and often in my readings, I really recognize this card as you in your really best self. You achiever, you've done it, you proud self, everything completed the best way possible. You luxurious, you beautiful, you see what I'm saying? You Virgo in your best self here on Wednesday and decision is there. That what you deserve now, that what you got. You did have the best intention to do something, you said something, you, I don't know, initiated something and that was misunderstood. Now you've got just that what was your intention. It's understood. You are standing tall and proud. People are seeing you for that who you are, for that what you said, for that what you have done. You see what I'm saying? Consequence, fair and just here on Wednesday. Beautiful. Now, look, page of wands with the three of swords. Now, we can maybe talk again. I mentioned maybe children on Monday. Now, this is also child, could be child, okay, for some of you who do have children. Uh, I don't know, your child is complaining or it's um, school problems or something. You see what I'm saying? Could be something like that on Thursday, the problems with children anyway. Now, could also be some sort of information that you are receiving and it's, um, and it's kind of offensive. Somebody said something, somebody stood out there and said something. And this is, you know, kind of initiating ideas, okay, maybe against you. Maybe you felt it like that, that somebody just made this standpoint and it was offensive to you and you felt very hurt on this day on Thursday. But look, could also be that a uh, page of wands represents energy for you, okay? New territory, new place, new territory where you found yourself. And it is usually something exciting, something that's supposed to begin to happen, okay? This is just the beginning, okay? And perhaps that what is, um, I don't know, heartache for you on Thursday, that you are ready to move on. Yes, you are excited. You You've got everything done, you've got everything prepared, but it's still stand still, action will follow later. But enthusiasm, we want to do it now, very easy to do things now. And perhaps that, as I said, is uh, your problem on Thursday because things are standing in one situation and you would love to do and move on. Now, on Friday, perhaps 
with five of pentacles, six of pentacles. You were expecting the situation will get better, financial situation, a situation with people, because five of pentacles is very poor energy and it's visible out there. And always, I'm telling you always when this energy comes up, with positive beneficial energies like six of pentacles, okay, it comes up. Five of Pentacles, just for your acknowledgement, for your reference, change it, do something. You don't need to be there. You've got a better place for yourself. You see what I'm saying? I really believe this Five of Pentacles is popping up for you to force this change. You don't have to be there. You don't have to expect anything from people. You can do it by yourself. You can have your money. You can live in abundance. You don't have to feel poor at all. You don't have to feel left alone. You don't have to. It's enough. You've got enough abilities. You've got everything enough. Perhaps you do have helping hand, okay, from somebody. Somebody is helping you. You were in a need of something and somebody came to your aid. Somebody very influential, somebody rich, could be with money, with advice, or just somebody stood by you, okay? So you don't feel poor, okay? You will lift yourself up and very soon. Perhaps in that sense this Friday. Now look, three of wands is beautiful energy standing out there with clear statement. I am so, so and so. I've done this, this and this. I am selling that, that and that. You see what I'm saying? You put things already out there waiting for response with three of wands. But now, look, you've got your nightmare. It seems to me somehow from Thursday, maybe actually the whole week, is a bit push and pull. It is, I felt misunderstandings, okay, that you are dealing with obstacles that you thought you, you didn't deserve, you didn't work for, that it's just happening with all your good intention, with all your hard work, with everything that you do right, somehow you hit the wall. I really felt like that this week. It's not much, okay? Nothing much, nothing that will break you, but it will annoy you. Okay, I kind of feel this is annoyance here that all the time you have to prove yourself. You have to argue with something. You have to, you know, it makes you feel bad. Okay, it makes you feel poor. Just like that, that on Friday. And look at this on Saturday. I really feel it's already nightmare to you. So you did put yourself honestly out there. This is who I am. This is what I do. Bravely out there, you Virgo. But then you feel fear, you feel scared, you know, being pessimistic, having this bug, if people are again rude and assholes with me, oh, what I'm going to do? You see what I'm saying? I really believe it's something like that, but you honestly did put yourself out there, because all the time I really felt that you do something really honestly, with greatest intention, greatest intention, and you are hitting misunderstandings, okay? People, perhaps, are in this belief that your intentions are really good, you know, that they are kind of projecting your intention into something completely different with a hangman, something opposite, something inverted. You see what I'm saying? Things upside down this week. Find yourself hurt and annoyed. Look, this Sunday isn't bad. I think you will just go out, have a good times with people. This is, you know, invitation to have good times, to, I don't know, go party this night of wands, exciting, passionate energy. Maybe you go outdoor, maybe you go uh, hiking, do something, go places from this pub, with these friends, in the party, you know, just jumping from one place on, or to another, having good times, you know, enjoying the day. Could be something like that with this one, just to give yourself a little bit of release, okay? Very much action. You want to close down on, on, on something definitely, and to move on. You want to finish it in the best way possible. I mean, you could have done better. Nobody could do better, okay? With whatever situation that you are closing down, something that lasted, perhaps closing down, finishing, completing it. And as I said, nobody could do better than you did because with that, what you did have at your disposal or and, okay, with limitations that you did have, it couldn't be done better. That's the best way possible with this world energy and you know you are completing it you finish that and you gladly okay enjoying yourself moving forward you are kind of desperate to move to be active to do something on 
Sunday and you will be, you know, doing things. Um, I think you need this release of energy and that's what you will be doing on Sunday. Either, as I said, being active. You go hiking, you go outdoor or you go parties. You see what I'm saying? Very active on Sunday. So enjoy it. <laughs> Perhaps you well deserve that.